about chapters 40 to 50, or the end of the book of Holes by Lewis Sacker, an amazing Newbery Medal honor with a list of other awards that I could recite, but it's gonna take a long time because there are so many. This book is an amazing book, you know? And so, we are going to start at chapter 40, and I assume that you've read all the way to chapter 40 and the whole book by now, so we can review and talk about it. So, uh, I wanted to ask you about, um, do you think, you know, so we're going to go to Sam 110 years ago, okay? And so, Miss Gladys Tennyson, um, was coming down and she was in um, and she was in her nightgown and she was like Sam right and we learned that Sam's onions cured Becca right were you surprised and did you think that it was because of Sam's onion uh, because of Sam's onion not Sam's Sam's uh, onions or do you think it's just because Becca got over it, or do you think it's a little of both? And do you, and then do you think that um, I wanted to ask you about? And what I wanted to ask you was, what do you think about Hattie Parker's attitude? Do you like Hattie Parker, and do you think she's funny, or do you think that she's really mean? And also. Why do you think that the onions, why do you think that onions solve everything? Do you think they really solve anything, everything? Um, headaches, pains, coughs, diseases, everything, and it's just healthy for you, right? And it makes you live a long time. And um, I wanted to ask you, um, I wanted to ask you, um, do you think about Stanley and Zero, because we're going back to them at God's Thumb, uh, and I wanted to ask you, do you think, so Stanley was going down the mountain, right? And as he went down the mountain, he saw the shovel in the sack of jars, right? It's like, oh! yeah, and the thing was, um, it, was, it is that, so I'm gonna read um, a, a sentence as this. And if they had rolled down the hill, it is doubtful that he would have found the sack and shovel side by side. Do you, what do you think that this is about? Do you think that this is something about magic and, and do you think that this is mysterious? Or do you think it's just luck and do you believe in signs of magic? I don't do like hundred a hundred percent, but like fifty percent, I sort of do believe. Um, um, I sort of believe signs when they're good luck. If they're bad luck, I don't believe them, and it's funny. Okay, chapter forty one. So, I now want to ask you. Um, so what I wanted to ask you was like. Do you think that um, Zero, right? Zero's past and um, what, if you had been Zero and you were talking about the past, would you have been sad or would you have been sort of like relieved that you had gotten it all out, right? I mean, find that, um, I wanted to ask you about, um, you know, Zero. Because of zero, they were sort of in, they were both in Camp Green Lake. Do you think it's all zero's fault? Or do you think that it wasn't zero's fault and that, and if you have been Stanley, how would you have reacted to this? Um, so we sort of see how Stanley reacts, but then again, you might react differently. I would be a little mad, but at the same time, I would understand. Um, and I would keep the, the anger to myself. Uh, okay, so they, so they were just over here, right, and in God's thumb, and then, 
we are, I wanted to ask you, um, and then we see this. I'm gonna read this. He was glad Zero put the shoes on the parked car. He was glad they fell from the overpass and hit him on the head. He was glad. Glad! If you have been, um, you know, if you had been Stanley, would you have been glad? I wouldn't. Um, and what do you think, why do you think that Stanley was so glad about this? Um, and also, I wanted to ask you, Stanley now asks, you wanna dig one more hole, right? Because it might be something, right? K B, right? Maybe there was a treasure buried there. Do you really think that there is a treasure buried there or not? And when you read this, what kind of feeling did you get in your stomach? I mean, there's always a feeling in your stomach. When I began a very scary roller coaster, but the, the thing was, I didn't know it was scary. I didn't even know it was a roller coaster. I thought it was gonna be a slow, fun ride, okay? And because this roller coaster went into a tunnel, and we were sort of like in these Jeep thingies, um, and then we were like, it was supposed to be really fun. Instead, we careened through the tunnels. So it was terrifying. I, I had my head in my, in my arms, and I didn't look out. It was all black. Later on, I found out that we were in like a cavern of, like there were like big snakes and stuff. Not real snakes, like plastic snakes, and we were like going into a cobra's jaw. Not that very scary because it was like an arch looked like a cobra's jaw, jaw. But still, it's sort of like that. Even though when I was going in, I just had a bad feeling in my gut. Maybe not, but you know. Still, when we went in the tunnel, I think I did. And then in chapter 43, Zero is saying, we weren't always homeless. And he said he remembered a yellow room. Uh, do you really think that maybe Zero's fam, who do you think that Zero's family is? And is Hector Zeroni? You know Zeroni, we've seen this before. Madame Zeroni in Elliot's story, right? Um, Stanley's great, 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 no, Stanley's dirty, rotten, pig stealing grandfather, or was it the no bad? Never mind. Uh, my great 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 grandfather, or something like that, right? And that's Madame Zeroni. So, do you think that they are related in any way, or not? You know, um, Zero and Madame Zeroni. Also, uh, I also wanted to ask you about. So, what do you think about the plan of going back to Camp Green Lake? And what do you think that Camp Green Lake symbolizes in this book? What do you think it symbolizes for them? I think it symbolizes a prison, no freedom. Um, hardship. Yeah, hardship. But it's only my opinion. And also, I wanted to ask you about, I wanted to ask you, do you think, what do you think about the challenge of, you know, who would drink first? Do you think that this is a good and fun challenge? Or do you think that people will just dehydrate and die in this challenge? And also, um, also, so, now I want to test you, you know, like, um, Laney Park, right, and Zero's, um, memories. What do you think about Zero's life? One to ten. Do you think that it was good or bad? Bad is like one. Like no, not bad. It's like one is like horrible. The baddest thing you've ever heard in your life is even better than um. A, it's even better than a horror movie. Like that kind of bad. It's terrible, horrible. It's very bad. And ten is like the amazing life. Like um, zero is like a billionaire and he has billions of money. Lots of money, not billions of money, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it would not be 10, right? Or nine, or eight. But maybe he thinks differently. And anyway, what do you think about the, um, what do you think about um, people's treatment of zero? And, and, and why do you think that the mother said, go away? 
Even though Zero was just a regular kid, do you think that the mother sort of sensed that maybe Zero was a homeless or something? And um, now I wanted to ask you, they were going to the holes, right? And now they climbed in. So um, what the, by the last sentence of chapter 43, what did you feel? How did you feel about what was going to happen next? Did you feel dread or did you feel excitement or just, did you feel, or did you just read on not feeling anything? <laughs> Okay, chapter 44, um, so they began to dig, right? And, but this time they want to dig. There's a difference, right? Wanting to dig and being forced to dig. Do you think that because they are wanting to dig, do you think that this makes all the difference? And do you think that digging holes is actually fun? It's just that Stanley is forced to dig a hole. Um, every day. Do you think that's why digging holes is so not fun for them? Right? But anyway, so they found they found this object, right? This trunk. And when you saw that trunk, this letter, not the trunk, a suitcase. When, when they found this, how did you feel? Well, did you feel uh, did you feel happy or did you feel a sense of dread because you knew that something bad was going to happen or did you just want to read on and also to Stanley and Zero what do you think that the suitcase really symbolized for them what do you think that special suitcase they've been digging for yeah what do you think it symbolized for them and then at the end the word is, I'm gonna read the last sentence, it's this. Well, not the last two sentences. Thank you, said the warden. You boys have been a big help. When you read that sentence, how did you immediately feel? And what did you expect was going to come out next? Um, I, I thought that maybe there was going to be like, maybe the warden was going to get rid of them somehow. Maybe she will point the gun or something, you know? And I wanted to ask you, so suddenly they, they all stopped because there was a nest of yellow spotted lizards. If you had been Stanley, how would you have reacted to this? I would have actually fainted or I, or I would, become, I, I would be, begin to hyperventilate would not, would, and that would be very, very bad. And also, I wanted to ask you, these lizards, do you think that these lizards, these beasts in the story, do you think they're actually real animals? And also, did you think that Stanley was going to die? I mean, you might think, hey, this book might be a tragedy. I've read plenty of books that are tragedies, kids. Well, not kids, I'm also a kid, but you know. And let me just tell you, uh, they are pretty sad. Okay. That was not very, that's, that was pretty lame, saying that they were pretty sad. Yeah, a tragedy, tragedy is a tragedy. If it had not been a tragedy, then why would it, then it would not be a tragedy. And if it wasn't a tragedy, then it wouldn't be sad, because tragedy is something sad. Okay, sorry guys. Um, so, you know what I mean though, right? Uh, and sometimes, yeah, tragedy is very sad, but sometimes we need to face it. It happens more in the world than you think about it. I mean, you read in books like this kid loses a parent or something. It happens every day, multiple times, maybe t t maybe lots of times. And we have to just be thankful that we have our parents, um, we have somebody to take care of, right? Okay, now, um, now, so, now uh, I wanted to ask you um, about chapter 46 and the situation they're in. Uh, now I wanted to ask you like this. Oh, you're, there was a lawyer for Stanley. Were you surprised and how did you feel about that, right? But the problem was, she had come yesterday. 
Well, how, well, how did you feel in your heart? Did you, it was it like a sinking feeling or did you think that there was gonna be some hope? Also, um, now I wanted to ask you, so chapter 47, right? Cars were coming up, right? And now we see that that Stanley's okay. He really is proved innocent. When you read that part, when you read this whole chapter, really, how did you feel? And do you think that the warden, why do you think that the warden wanted that suitcase so much? Do you think that was, that was why, um, that was why war, the warden had everybody digging? Or what, or do you think it's some other answer? And if it is, what is it? Okay, also, I wanted to ask you about, do you think that Camp Green Lake is child abuse and false imprisonment and torture? I think it is. And then, a oh, really amazing thing was, Zero and Stanley just climbed out and the lizards were gone. What did you feel about this? And what about the, what about the Stanley Yellens part? What do you think about this? And do you think, who do you think that this belonged to? Okay, chapter 48. So, what I wanted to ask you about that was, um, when we found out about Stanley's innocence, how did you feel? And also, I wanted to ask you, the justice system put Stanley in here. Do you think that makes a justice system not very justice, or do you think it was just a, a mistake and that it was okay for them to make a mistake so that Stanley was tortured? Well, maybe that's a little too dramatic, but I, I think that you know what I mean. Also, um, well, heck, Hector Zoroni, I mean Zero, came with Stanley. When, when, by the end of chapter 48, how are you feeling? I was celebrating. I was like, hoo hoo, you know? And I am, and this time, sometimes when, it, when books are sad, I need a box of Kleenex. Other times, because I'm so happy, I need, a, I need some ice cream, or at least something yummy, you know? You, said, you sort of sometimes have to celebrate those kinds of things. Um, okay, but anyway, um, we should get on with the book. So we are at chapter 49. So, um, now we're, chapter 49, we're going back like 110 years ago, okay? And um, I wanted to ask you about this. Sam said, the lizards don't like onion blood. The lizards don't like onion blood. Did you hear that? The lizards don't like the onion blood. And Stanley and Zero, what have they been eating for the past, I don't know, week or so? They have been eating onions! Onions, onions, onions. Maybe that's why the yellow spotted lizards didn't bite, right? Whoa. I actually didn't know this until right now. I swear that I was just like, I was just talking about this and I just like, and I was like, <gasps> onions, right? I actually just, just thought of it right now while I was just, you know, recording this. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, But anyway, so now, you know, I wanted to ask you about um, this part three, right? And it's called filling in the holes. What do you think about this? And what do you think that this means? Part three, filling in the holes. Okay, chapter 50. So, what do you think about this closing Camp Green Lake, right? And then we see in a few years, Camp Green Lake will become a Girl Scout camp. Did you find this funny? Mr. Sir kept on saying, this isn't the Girl Scout camp. And now it is going to be. Uh, and also, I wanted to ask you about, um, what, and what I wanted to ask you about was, 
Um, what did you think about what was in the suitcase? And um, and finally, I wanted to ask you. So there was a small party, right? And then there was a Clyde. There was a commercial, and then it showed a baseball game, and Clyde Livingston was talking, right? And so um, um, it was like. You know, the commercial. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I just was like this because I knew that I had some words, but I just had lost them, you know? And um, also, um, what do you think about this sploosh? What do you think about that name? Do you think it's a good name? And also, um, I wanted to ask you, um, I wanted to ask you about uh, Clyde Livingston and the and the relationship between Stanley. If you had been Clyde Livingston, how would you have rea reacted towards Stanley? Would you have felt sorry for him or not? And I also wanted to ask you, if you had been Clyde Livingston, do you think that um, maybe you'll, what would you have done to Stanley to make up for everything? And then, there's also this woman, right? And this woman was singing, if only, if only the moon speaks no reply, reflecting the sun and all that's gone by. Be strong, my weary wolf, turn around boldly. Fly high, my baby bird, my angel. My only. Whoa. 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 Okay. <sighs> amazing, right? Amazing, amazing. What? Do you think that this is a descendant of Madame Zeroni? And do you think it's Zero's descendant or not? Well guys, you're gonna have to fill up those holes yourself. And it's just really fun about holes because you really, there's a lot of holes that you need to fill in and your imagination can go wild, you know? It helps your imagination and also there's a different version of every story, you know? Like, and it's really cool as you share it with other, like one, let's say that one story is a rose bush while the other is violet, you know? A violet bush. I don't think there actually is a violet bush. But I think that you sort of get what I mean, right? Okay guys, we finished this amazing book. Hole. I'm so happy that we finished the book. At the same time, I'm so sad. I'm happy because we finished this amazing book. It's just amazing. And it's some, a book that every kid in the world needs to read. Because this book, whether you like it or not, and I love it, um, and I hope that you do too. Um, this book is just really inspirational, and I think that it'll help you later on in life. Also, Lewis Sacker, all in all, amazing author. Uh, he has also written other books. Um, there's actually, there's a sort of like another book after the Holes. It's called Small Steps, and it's a remarkable follow-up to Holes, and it follows Armpit, and then I think that it also has X-Ray in it. So that's really cool, okay? So check that amazing book out. Uh, also, this, yeah, after the small steps, I think that Lewis Sacker has also written this book called The Car Turner. And then also, Sammy Yellen's survival guide to Camp Green Lake. I know it's really cool. He written, he, um, um, you know, Lewis Stackard wrote that, so that's amazing, okay? And so, yeah, that's just amazing. So I hope that you check that out. And then also, there's also, the there's a boy in the girl's bathroom. That's another one that Lewis Stackard made. The boy who lost his face. Don't tell me why that was so. And then, um, dogs don't tell jokes. Maybe. 
No, in the Marvin Rappel series. I love the Marvin Rappel series. One of my all time favorite books. So, okay, I don't know why I clapped, but I did like this. And yeah, we're officially done. Just to ask you a few last questions. If you have watched my other videos, you're like, uh, I know what these questions are gonna be. And then if you want, you can recite them with me. But the, here's the thing. I'm gonna switch up the order of everything so you can recite them with me, okay? Okay, number one, what's, what was your um, favorite, favorite character? And then what was your least favorite character overall but um, your opinion might change throughout the book. Also, what's your, what do you predict is going to happen next for Stanley? What do you think that he's gonna be when he grows up? What do you think is going to happen to the warden and Mr. Panansky and Mr. Sir? And also, I wanted to ask you, do you, uh, um, do you think that this story had, um, what do you think about the story's ending? Do you like it or do you want it to be more happy? Or maybe Stanley will get revenge on the ward or something like that. Um, and also, what was your favorite part in these chapters that we discussed? Chapters 40 to 50 or the end of the book and then the whole book itself. And how did you like the book so far? Not so far, the whole book. Because we finished it, I'm so happy. Hope that you're also so happy. It's just an honor to guide you through the book. And, I, and, I've, and I've got so many other book clubs. All, some of them are Front Desk. Um, there's also the Westing Game. And then there's a billion others. Like, I'm literally not killing, kidding. It's like this big. The, 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 the pile of books that I've done, it's like this tall. And, and, I, and I'm actually currently Working on a book, I think it's, yeah, it's called The Island of the Blue Dolphins. Actually, I might be done with that. I'm not very sure. There's a lot of book clubs I'm doing, so I think that I might be done with that. Maybe just one more lesson I need to do for The Island of the Blue Dolphins. If so, I think that I'm gonna do that this week. So by the time you watch this video, because you might watch this video, this video years after I actually currently am saying that I did that I'm still doing the Island of the Blue Dolphins. So there's a big chance that maybe you've already taken my Island of the Blue Dolphins class. If not, um, see if, if see if it's there and try it out. Um, hope the book itself is amazing. Well guys, again I hope that you had a great time with me. Keep reading. My motto, keep reading. Reading is an amazing thing to do. It's fun and inspires you and you learn more. Just, it's amazing. So, I know like TV and computers are amazing. I know, I, I really do. But take some time to read, guys, every day. 